Hi, it's Mids from My Life Mids. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I thought I would do a flip through of my Hobonichi Tejo or my Hobonichi cousin. And this is in the Abex style for 2019. I have January to June in here and July to December in this cover. And I have the quiet version linked down below. Uh, let's start off with January to June. I won't be going through every, well, I'll flip through every single page, but I won't talk through every single page because then that would take forever. Um, in the beginning, I was documenting the Hobonichi challenge prompts in here. Of course, my daughter loves to journal with me, so she would scribble her, she would draw <laughs> in here once in a while. And she also, well, both my daughter and my son, you'll see their drawings in throughout the uh, Hobonichi cousin as well. So yes, I was doing the prompts for the monthly pages. For the weekly, I was trying to... Um, I was trying to use the same format as I did with my Traveler's Notebook Weekly and that really didn't work out. Uh, you'll see that it kind of fizzles down a little bit later here. And right now I'm using the week section for gratitude and I've missed a couple days but it's been going okay so far. I'm not bent on, I'm not like worried about not using the monthly or weekly pages. Um, but yeah, so you'll see that here. So this is, <laughs> this is January. It's so interesting to see what I did. <laughs> I always start strong in the beginning of the year. Even right now with the Hobonichi cousin I have now, I'm almost caught up and uh, it's very, very colorful, just like you see here. And I guess that's the whole excitement of starting in your Hobonichi. You get all excited and um, you spend some time at the end of the day. Well, for me, I spend some time at the end of the day to make sure that I journal in my Hobonichi. <laughs> but these pages are so, so fun to look at. Um, my drawings are really not that great, but it's still like even this is so fun to see my kids' drawings in there. Even like a like packaging from peanut butter, and of course printables from. In here, there's printables from Courtney Diaz, Little Raven Ink. There's also printables from Tisha Moore as well. And maybe, I think James Burke as well is in, this is Tisha Moore, these ones right here. There's like magazine clippings. Um, pictures are all just printed from my printer, like regular copy paper. It's not like photo paper or it's not any of those like mini printers. It's just regular <laughs> printer paper. So please don't feel discouraged that um, if you don't have like a special printer that you can't print photos. And I think I mentioned this quite some time ago when I, I didn't even have a printer for several, year, several years uh, after moving to Japan and I would just go to the convenience store. I would make one of those like collage, photo collages on my cell phone and just print that on, uh, I would just print that at the convenience store and that was how I did things. So I know uh, back home at the library you can print some things too. So. Please, um, if you just kind of look around your area and see if there's things available, maybe you'll be able to find a printer nearby if you are not, if you don't have access to one. Like even packaging, I try, uh, you'll see that I put a lot of packaging in here, but uh, near the end, I, I totally forget about it. <laughs> and sometimes I'll incorporate the Hobonichi challenge prompts. If you're not sure about the Hobonichi challenge, it's just a, uh, a prompt list that uh, myself and some of the other Hobonichi uh, ladies come up with every month. If you search hashtag Hobonichi challenge, 
you will see on Instagram and uh, as well as the Facebook group as well. A lot of magazine clippings just to kind of decorate the page or um, yeah and quotes and things like that too. More magazine clippings, uh, some stamps, of course washi tape <laughs> and Looking at this, I realize February is the, the month that all the Sakura stuff comes out. February 19th, like this one is February 16th, 17th. So I'm guessing this year too, near like Valentine's Day, all of the Sakura stuff will be coming out and I'm gonna kind of gear myself, make myself ready. Like this one is the Sakura milk tea, it's also February, even though it's not really Sakura season yet. This one too, the uh, Starbucks Sakura that you can buy at the convenience store is out in February so I'm kind of it's kind of neat to look at these pages and see um, certain trends a whole bunch of stickers if you have a whole bunch of uh, stickers that are kind of um, remaining on some of your sticker sheets just stick them down on a page <laughs> just some headings and a little bit of writing like this here uh, I just did a heading and this is this whole section here is the Hobonichi challenge prompts and then just really small writing so it's um, I'm not a big writer a lovely letter from Eva I'm gonna be seeing her soon so I'm very very excited but yeah just fun to see what <laughs> I've been what I journaled about and like You'll notice like um, shipping times and uh, when I did when I placed shipping orders and um, because I do work from home uh, this is part of packaging yeah it's interesting to see like I said different trends and how long I took to ship something or anyways that's all related to work but oh this is from Brie documented journey this is more of some magazine clippings, a big quote here with, it's probably my daughter <laughs> and her drawings and this is Courtney Diaz. This one I posted a video, I think it was my daughter, she was using a highlighter and I mean I could just leave it like that but I decided to paint over it and make an octopus out of her, her drawing and so I thought it would be fun to incorporate her work. <laughs> I think this is T. Shamor. I'm not sure but this one is T. Shamor. Some washi tape. This one I spent some more time drawing and things. Um, like you will see my frustrations out here. Are you the type that journals only positive things. Um, I know some people have like keep it separate. They journal positive things in one journal, like gra a gratitude journal, I suppose, and then all the negative stuff or things that they just want to get off their chest. They'll journal in a separate book, and then I guess it's called a burn book. I'm not too sure. I, I don't have a burn book, or I, I never really um, looked into it. But uh, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. How does the burn book work? Do you write all your negative things in there and then just kind of throw it out? Or I think the Hobonichi for me is a fun, fun place to add a whole bunch of color and um, for the most part it's like very colorful and <laughs> very fun. And then of course I still do write headings like I'm frustrated or I'm exhausted or I'm tired or isn't this the cutest thing? Her hands are so small. <laughs> oh my gosh, they grow. The kids grow so fast. It's yeah, I can't. I can't believe how fast they grow. Here it's like totally blank, and I could have journaled later, but I I didn't, and I think that's totally okay. The kids still love salmon, so it's really fun to see this. Uh, almost a year later and they still love salmon. This is must be my son's drawings. 
Now I remember the drilling. There was construction going outside of the building. Just more stickers. I'm very, very excited for the Olympics to be here this year. I'm still watching Tara's house. And oh, this is what one of the days where I was um, alone with my daughter at, at, at night. <laughs> you can see here it says not cleaning up for the wind. There's just some days you are just so exhausted and tired and you just leave your dishes in the sink for like the next day and that's I think that's totally okay. I don't know if you do the same but yeah. Toronto Raptors finals they actually end up winning the championship which is so awesome. Oh this is when we went to Montreal. We went back home to Canada. These are the places that we went. Toronto Premium Outlet, Dixie Value, Mr. Souvlaki. Oh my gosh, I really miss eating souvlaki so, so much. Of course, Walmart, Square One, burritos. I really miss Mexican food as well. Really, really miss it. Oh yeah, I remember e eating a whole bunch of the yogurt covered pretzels. That's it's so fun to see these pages and just look at the headings. I'm sure when I have a bit more time little um, later on down the road, it would be fun to look and actually read uh, what I wrote. Shipping again, exhausted. <laughs> uh, more Tisha Moore, Courtney Diaz. This I love this like right here. It's really really nice. Movies and shows. Um, Oh, one book July. I wonder if I'll be participating. Oh, I will try, I think, to participate this year. Oh, this is so pretty. This is so cool. I really like that. <laughs> I. It's so fun to see that. It really, really is. And I think that's it. Oh. <laughs> so that's part one or the first uh, January to June and then I'm going to continue on with this video I th think I'm just going to go right through to the end so this is July to December it's a little bit more chunky I think I think I put in a little bit more than this one um, but let's begin the weekly pages I totally lost uh, momentum like the monthly and weekly you'll see like I didn't touch touch it at all but that's okay. Uh, we went to <laughs> eat um, burritos. It's still not the same, unfortunately. Uh, there's just something different. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is. It's like the flavoring. My son got some stamps. <laughs> oh, I really miss this so much. The old place that we used to live. There was an Eon Mall um, close by, like within driving distance, and they had an Indian place. Um, it was kind of, it's relatively new in the food court. And they had, um, sorry, there's something stuck in my throat. They, they had, so yeah, the Eon Mall that was close by had this biryani and it was so good. I haven't had biryani in years and folio de stash. I, sorry, my mind is like all over the place, but I like folios and then I don't like folios. I'm always, always, always going back to Traveler's Notebook style. And then lately I've been trying, I've been into folios again. <laughs> and so I'm like, I kind of, re not regret de stashing the folios, but I'm my mind is kind of wanting another folio and it's like, uh, I gotta stop. <laughs> Here, you see there's like a couple of uh, blank pages and then I stuck some photos in there of uh, when, we when we went back home to Canada. So, it's that, I just wanted to skip over that. Uh, stationary exhibitions. I stuck in a pamphlet here. We rented a van, um, 
we drove to the exhibition and driving back home took 11 hours which is too too long but the good thing was the food there in Osaka they had uh, eight takoyaki for hyakuen which is like a dollar which is crazy the takoyaki close to our house is about I want to say it's five dollars for eight or nine takoyaki something like that um, but yeah, so another magazine, some packaging, some quotes, more packaging here, and <laughs> another page of stickers, and Hobonichi Challenge, another Hobonichi Challenge. This one here is James Burke. He had a playtest Patreon for, um, I think it was two months for the during the summertime, so... There's that. More of Courtney Diaz, of course. I tried, um, I was in, very, very inspired by James in his like sketchy drawings. And so I tried to do that. It's so fun to see these ones. I want to try them again. My son made this origami. I think it's a whale or a fish, so I put that in there. Yeah, you can see I was confused with my Hobonichi selections, but I ended up with these two. I didn't end up getting the uh, di the di diary, the free diary, I think is what it's called. Postcards from Momo. Another one from Momo. She's so sweet. She always sends me these postcards. Um, this one is about the poutine. Uh, they actually had a poutine, um, what is it called? Like a special pop-up event in Tokyo. And I wanted to attend, but I couldn't. The timing wasn't right. But I think it was hosted by Air Canada. And um, I just, I can't, they don't, they, uh, there is a poutine place in, I think, Mokitazawa, and in Tokyo, and I've been there, but it's really disappointing. The they don't have the cheese curds, and I think it's because uh, they're not able to get them in Japan. Oops, I thought I oh yeah, it flips out here. Oh yeah, when I went to the Okayama for classicy and superior labor. This was so, so cool. Very, very cool. Inktober was a big fail. I am so sorry. I really, I mean to jot down the names of the people that have donated the coffee donations. Um, I really want to set up a, I think it's called Coffee Gold, where I can actually uh, write a message to people there, the people that have donated. Because I want to give back to those. Um, I want to give back in some way. Like if, if it's just maybe sending a postcard or a letter or something. Uh, hopefully I will have a little bit more time now that I have some help at work. Um, hopefully I can start to do that. So that's something on my to-do list. I just really need to catch up with work and home stuff. And hopefully once that's done. I still have boxes that I haven't unpacked. And... Um, the storage unit is supposed to come this week and hopefully once I can once that's finished I can start to look into the coffee gold and really reach back out to those that have kindly and graciously donated. Thank you so much. Sorry my my hands are so dry. <laughs> yeah, these are like empty pages because I was uh, packing up for a move. I should write that in there. Let's write really simply busy with moving busy with moving ditto so yeah these last uh, these several pages I just didn't have any time or the energy or I just didn't feel like um, journaling I'm packing and overwhelmed. 
um, Bamba Museum to kind of break the whole moving stress. <laughs> um, <clears throat> my kids again. These are just simple headings and of course I could journal uh, about it but I just left it as is. I think this is um, for my cousin's wedding. Uh, they, for, for weddings, if you give them, I think for the most part, you give the, uh, the wedding couple uh, money, but the money has to be, like the money, uh, what's it called, the bills have to be crisp and brand new. There can't be any creases, it can't have any folds, it can't be money from your wallet, like it has to be crisp, brand new bills from the bank, and that's just one of the Japanese customs that I'm trying my best to learn, but it's really hard to keep up with all of those things. This is the <clears throat> Anpanman character that my daughter made. He looks very worried, but it's so cute. I think these are from the Hobonichi Challenge. Just some doodling. I really miss just doodling for just doodling sake. I, I feel like I haven't really done much of that. I don't know, did I talk about this? I really like putting natto, which is like fermented soybean, like the really stinky... Um, yeah, it's called natto. I don't know if you know it, but I enjoy putting that in with my spicy foods. It's very strange. I learned about this uh, combination on a TV show called Matsuko no Shiranai Sekai. And um, this cup of noodle, this spicy instant noodle is very famous. And they said if you put natto in there, it's even better. And I can't stop eating it. It's very, very good. I have one at least once a week. It's so bad for my health. But anyways. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I filmed this as well. I just added the postcard on top of that. December daily. I'm almost finished here. This is December. Absolutely exhausted. <laughs> Happy mail. <laughs> so nice to see that. I didn't do any journaling here. I know I did a, I filmed a video of this and I ended up sticking a photo and that's it. I didn't do any journaling and that's okay. I don't feel like I want to journal or catch up. I finally started taking out my stamps and just stamping some pages. Just some photos I have to, yeah, photos. Um, some washi swatches from London gifties. I'm not sure what this is. My son drew a rainbow in a tractor. But anyways, um, I put a Santa on this because it looked like a wave and a sun. And so Santa's riding the waves. I don't know. I thought it, I thought it would be fun to kind of play along with their uh, drawings. <laughs> this is from 1SD. Shipping again. These are Courtney Diaz. Beautiful. I love these mugs. I'm, I want to print them out again and use them, uh, like have extras. This is a very fun page. This is very pink. I was going to write something here, but maybe, uh, maybe a quote or something like that. In um, Japan, we send out these New Year's cards, uh, postcards, and instead of like Christmas cards, they do New Year's cards, and I kind of left them last minute. And here's some th other things that I want to stick in here. Yeah, poly stick. Maybe I'm just gonna leave it as is. I received this beautiful uh, birthday gift from Momo. From Softly Studio. I have filmed the unboxing so I really need to edit that and put that up and just some extra like little notes from um, Connie Peppercorn Arts with her gift, uh, her birthday gift to me. This is the uh, like a preliminary 
<laughs> as a sample, I guess I was trying to make the New Year's cards and I used these stamps from Sakura Lala there and you write a little message, like a handwrite, you handwrite a little message and then you put the person's address on the back. So that's that. I Like I said, I've linked down below the quiet version, like the non chatty version if you just want to look at the pages without me chatting about. <laughs> I know I kind of ramble and things, but I have been really enjoying the Hobonichi Cousin size. I started off with Hobonichi A6 and I enjoyed that and I it was very intimidating for me to move from such a small, like A6 is, is half the size, right? So it was very intimidating at first, but I'm really, really enjoying it. As you can see, there's a lot of blank spaces, a lot of blank, blank pages filled with postcards or filled with photos or even stickers and washi tape swatches and I think that's totally okay. Even if you have a blank page that just means that you're too busy or you're too tired. You saw me just write down um, busy with with moving so you can just write a simple like a sentence if you want to uh, remember why those pages were blank. I just I appreciate the Hobonichi Techo and the company and I don't know what it is. It's the paper that really gets me because I Tried doing this journaling in a stylogy or different types of other notebooks, but it just I don't know what it is. I just keep going back to the Hobonichi Techo. It's it's I don't know if it's the paper the way it crinkles after you watercolor in it. I don't know what it is, but I've been really, really enjoying it. I'm very happy and glad that I can look at these, um, you know, down the road. My daughter loves flipping through these pages. Um, she tends to journal with me when I uh, dinner's finished and we kind of wind down the day. I write my little entry and she's right there, right beside me <laughs> with the watercolors trying to help me journal. So I really appreciate the time that um, we make with the uh, the Hobonichi. Hopefully one of these days when they get older they would they would hopefully start using the Hobonichi Techo as well. But anyways that is it. I forgot to mention this is a Giglio Apunto in Rust and it's the A5. I purchased this used and it's over a year old. I, I'm pretty sure it's over a year old and I've been really enjoying it. You can see the patina, like it's really shiny now. There's no issue with the popper at all. Um, it is not stuffed to the max, but you can see there it's quite... So I might take this off and just store the books as is. Um, I know some people use, like, they store their books with their covers. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do that. Right now with the A6, I've taken all of the A6 ones out and I have the covers like empty, but I'm not sure. I want to re-evaluate and reassess my stash and look at covers that I'm not using anymore or covers that I can give to a new home. But anyways, okay, I'm rambling. <laughs> That's it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.